Assalamu alaikum and hello everyone welcome back again hope you all are doing good how are your days going on in this beautiful month ramadan is a month of forgiving and worships let's pray and ask for forgiveness as much as possible after 2 years i'm spending the days of ramadan in india this year is going to be a little different because abdul had is going to school so there is a change in routine in this video i am showing you a day in my life in india in this holy month I hope you will like this video. Keep watching. In this holy month, my day starts at 3:30 in the morning. As soon as I wake up, I pray tahajjud and then I do suhoor. In the time between suhoor and fajr prayer, I will be walking while reading tasbih. In this holy month, I will recite subhanallahi wa bihamdihi and astaghfirullah more in tasbih. And what do you read please put in the comment section Abdullah had had school in the afternoon and now his exams are going on It was his first time to write the exam so I felt more tension than him It's not an IAS exam but he is writing first time and he doesn't know what exam is and how does it write because I never conduct a test for him at home that's why I got a little tense but he went and wrote casually without any tension even his madam gave a star I am really happy for that you you have it not After sending Abdullah to school, we put the children to bed and went to D-Mart in the afternoon for grocery shopping. It has been one year since I visited D-Mart. These shops are welcome us with milk, tea powder, bread and biscuits like the way we all welcome our day with the tea, bread and biscuits. Here I found my favorite Usmania biscuits. It has also an offer. Buy one get one free. Here my sister in law quickly took all the groceries on the list she had brought with her. This shop is full of crowd. I have never seen such a rush here. Then we went to see the crockery items. I took 2 3 items. and i will show them later it was difficult to shoot a video in such a public place so i quickly took the items what i need here we are looking for door curtains These are looking good and quality also nice but don't have much design so we have taken only two curtains We finished shopping a bit early because we had to go home and prepare iftar also. Now let's come into a making iftar. In iftar I am going to prepare simple recipes with less ingredients. Those are kulukki sharbat, mango ice cream and potato pine wheels. 
First of all, I am going to prepare ice cream. For that, I took Baker's Whip Powder, which I ordered on Amazon. It contains 450 grams normal whipping cream powder and 450 grams of chocolate whipping cream powder. I will provide link in description box. Please check if you need. In a bowl, I have taken 1 cup whipping powder. It has already contained sugar, so no need to add. Now I am adding 1 cup of milk little by little in the powder and mixing it gently. Mixing is done now. Let's keep it in the freezer for about 10 minutes or until it chills. Here I am making mango ice cream, so I am cutting mango. You can make ice cream with any fruit of your choice at mango place like strawberry, banana. I cut the mango into small pieces and put it in a bowl. Now in a jar add these mango pieces, 1 by 4th cup of condensed milk. If you don't have condensed milk then you can add sugar also and add 3 by 4th cup of milk and grind to a smooth paste. Cream was cooled now, let's beat for 5 minutes. The cream should be beaten like this even if the ball is reversed, the cream should not fall down. Now it's done. Take the ground mango mixture in a bowl and add the whipping cream to it and beat it once more until it is well mixed. Now it's ready. I have this ice cream box with me. Now I am transferring this mixture into this box. Keep it for at least 5 to 6 hours in refrigerator. I made it 3 hours before iftar and it didn't set for till iftar time. So we ate it night. The next recipe is refreshing drink. For this first of all I took 1 teaspoon basil seeds means sabja seeds soaked in water for 5 minutes. For this drink I brought and cut 5 lemons and squeezed them in a jar. Adding half cup sugar in it. You can adjust the sugar according to your taste. You can also use honey if you wish. Then add 1 liter water. Now mix well and keep aside. Now I took 2 green chillies and cut slits on all 3 sides and remove the seeds from it. Again I took a lemon and cut it into slices and removing the seeds from it. I took some mint leaves also. Here sabja seeds also soaked well. Now these all ingredients goes into the lemon water one by one. Mix it once. Finally add some ice cubes. Mix everything well and keep in refrigerator. While serving I will shake it well using glass. While shaking this kuluki sherbet, transfer this sherbet into a glass then lock with another glass and shake well. Watermelon contains 92% water. It helps to stay hydrated and improves the digestion. It is very good to have it in every iftar.
Now moving to next recipe that is potato pine wheels. For this recipe I took 3 medium sized potatoes. Peel the skin, cut them into small pieces and wash them couple of times. Then boil them in water with little salt until it's soft. Now I am mashing the potatoes with the fork. In this goes add half teaspoon red chilli powder, half teaspoon salt, half teaspoon cumin powder, 1 by 4 teaspoon turmeric powder, 3 by 4 teaspoon chaat masala and some coriander leaves. Now mix everything well and keep it aside. For dough, I took 1.5 cup all-purpose flour. In this adding little salt and 1 tablespoon oil. Mix it once. Then add enough water to knead the dough. Now it is also done. Keep it aside for 10 minutes. Now I am going to make slurry. For this I have taken 2 tablespoon flour in a bowl. Then add 3 to 4 tablespoon water and made a paste. Now it's time to make pine wheels. I first sprinkled some flour on the countertop and then took the whole dough. I made it thin like a roti and applied the potato mixture on it then roll it like shown in the video. After that cut them into small pieces and once pressed with hand then keep it aside. Now all are done, heat the oil in a pan then take pine wheels and dip in the slurry and add into the hot oil. Fry it in medium to low flame till it turns light golden color. That's it guys, our simple iftar is ready with less ingredients. Look how crisp it is.
Look guys how messy it is. I think it is like this in everyone's house. Cleaning toys is the last part of our daily routine. Most of the time mom or sister in law cleans after children go to bed. That's it guys for today's video. I hope you liked all my recipes. If so, please give thumbs up and leave a feedback in comment section. I am a small YouTuber guys. Your support is very need to grow my channel. Please watch full videos and like, share and subscribe my channel. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to notify the latest updates. Thank you all. We will see with next vlog. Until then take care. Bye bye. Allah Hafiz.